Theocentric psychology and meditation equals results. Theocentric psychology, developed by Dr. Paul Leon Masters, essentially means God-centered psychology. Other terms for it are metaphysical psychology and spiritual mind science. New thought movements such as Christian science, unity and religious science, or science of mind, all follow the basic tenets of theocentric psychology and their tools, which are mystical or contact meditation and scientific or affirmative prayer. Commercial psychology believes that the center of the mind is the libido or sex drive or survival instinct. It also states that there is a surface conscious mind and a subconscious mind or memory bank containing past memories from this lifetime. The very general methodology of most of commercial psychology is to have the patient not be involved with the traumas of the subconscious, but to rather be more actively engaged and involved with their current exterior situations, therefore theoretically resulting in a well-adjusted person. Spiritual mind science and psychology, or theocentric psychology, acknowledges several more levels of the mind. The surface or conscious mind is the first one. Next down is the personal subconscious or memory bank. The next one down is the psychic energy level. The next is the collective unconscious. And following is the soul level. And at the center is the perfect or God mind. The objective is that through continued and ongoing mystical or contact meditation, the practitioner regularly accesses God and therefore begins to regularly resonate to the healing frequencies of God, which also eventually allows the influence of God or intuition to seep to the top or conscious level of the mind, resulting in creative endeavors, inspiration, and as previously stated, intuition or God guidance. Well, being this mind, body, and soul is also a natural result of regular ongoing mystical meditation and combined with scientific prayer results in a healthy and prosperous individual. Very generally, all the levels of the mind, except for the God or perfect mind center, are prone to flawed human thoughts, generally referred to as the personal ego will, mainly selfish and concerned only with personal gain. The solution, therefore, is regular mystical meditation, which will eventually allow for God guidance or intuition and more universal thoughts and inspirations, which by nature will be selfless. The healing of all levels of the mind also results because of regular mystical meditations accessing of God's perfect love frequencies. For more on the various levels of the mind, read my books, The Signs of the Soul and Spiritual Mind Science and Your Soul, all available on Amazon.com and Kindle. Ironically, modern-day commercial psychology was born from the spiritual practices of Phineas Parkhurst Quimby, referred to as the father of new thought. This clockmaker from Boston area of the U.S. in the mid to late 1800s had an hypnosis healing practice. Back in those days, hypnosis was called mesmerism and wasn't completely understood. It was believed that through various gestures, the mesmerist could alter the fluids of the patient's body, resulting in better health. Really, the gesturing resulted in the patient being put under hypnosis or altered state, also called meditative state. Quimby would then talk the person out of their belief in their illness, coining the phrase, it's all in your head, and paving the way for modern day psychosomatic medicine. What he actually did was a meditative mind treatment, the original version of a scientific or affirmative prayer. In fact, the stages were very similar, and he is quoted as saying, the cause was the cure, essentially a form of spiritual psychosomatic medicine. Anchoring the patient in a healthier belief, in this case in God, he substituted their belief that they were unwell, or why they were unwell for God's perfect health, 
He is documented as having cured Mary Baker Eddy from being unable to walk. She went on to start a similar spiritual practice known today as Christian Science. Some other former patients of Quimby went on to teach his methods to great success, and his original New Thought philosophies evolved into the philosophies of Unity Churches, Ernest Holmes Science of Mind Churches, books and treatments, as well as Dr. Paul Leon Masters' theocentric psychology. There is no denying the influence Quimby had on modern-day psychologists such as Freud and Jung, both of whom used hypnosis in their practice. Jung, also a mystic himself, coined the phrase collective consciousness, a term related to the symbols in our unconscious mind. We can also see how NLP, or Neuro Linguistic Programming, the use of words to positively affect the mind, evolved out of Quimby's practices. In fact, although modern psychology schools do not acknowledge Quimby at all, almost all modern-day psychology practices in one way or another can be traced back to P.P. Quimby. In my own theocentric psychology practice, I've witnessed great results in my patients while employing the mind treatments of Quimby. I've documented many of them for your interest in my books, The Science of the Soul and Spiritual Mind Science and Your Soul. From curing low self-esteem to patients bringing permanent love relationships into their lives, people transforming their lives from quiet desperation into leadership positions and making their mark in society, I have seen the results that the mind treatments, consisting of mystical meditation combined with prayer treatments or scientific prayer, have had on people. God-centered beingness influencing one's everyday actions and thoughts. Right here, right now, we become aware of this endless field of love energy in which we reside. We are one and the same with it, individualized expressions of the one which we are extensions of. As we breathe, so does love breathe. As we live, so does love live. As we laugh, create, contribute, multiply, so too does love laugh, create, contribute, and multiply. Because love is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient, and is always expanding, so too are we expanding. For love needs us to expand and to create, to express and to be all that it can be. We affirm and we declare right here and right now in this energy of love that we are already all that is great. We all are already all that is eternal and good because that is what we are allowing to be born through us as us. We are already perfection continually blossoming through us, as us, and it feels good. It feels great, as above, so below. We give thanks for this word, knowing that it is law and is already so in the mind of the universe. We release the word in gratitude and appreciation, letting it be so now and unto forevermore. And so it is, and so it is. Amen, amen, amen.